Hi, it's Izumi, and welcome to Firewatch. New game. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you don't even know. <gasps> are we gonna are we gonna meet Julia? Do we meet Julia? I've watched people play this game and um it's been one of my favorite games to watch people play for years. I've watched pretty much everyone under the sun play it. Uh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. So I know what's gonna happen, but you guys said you would still watch even if I know what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna try my best not to spoil too much. So if you're a first time, you know, viewer of, of Firewatch, it's okay. You won't get much spoiled for you, I promise. Okay, you see Julia. Ah, Julia. She's about your age. Late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You. You're pretty. <laughs> You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend! Guys, we did it. <laughs> the end. Oh my god, this feels so weird! Oh my god. This has been one of my favorite games forever. So the fact that I'm actually playing it feels so crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never played this game. I've only ever watched people ga play it. This just feels so cool. Okay. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. Oh, beautiful. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. She's also There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Also, as a heads up, I will not be choosing what I know is the better option, even though I know what happens in this game. I'm just gonna be choosing what I think I would choose, okay? I would I would pick up the, be the beagle. She names it Bucket. <laughs> Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. 1979. You talk on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I had some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. Aw. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Of course she is. Oh. My god. I'm actually here. <laughs> this feels so cool. Oh my god. I'm just going to be fangirling this entire game. Don't forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Warning, therefore trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. I'm an experienced hiker, don't you worry about it, don't you worry about it. No fireworks, of course, of course. There's the map. Jonesy Lake, Thunder Canyon, Two Forks Lookout. You'll all know what this means very soon if you haven't seen this already, but. Oh, oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly having been having a bit of she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Neither of these are good options. You should just talk. But if out of these two, rather than getting mad and 
making her feel bad for having a fun time, I'm, I would rather just not say anything. Talk about it when we're both in a better state of mind, you know? You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry, as you should, and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. Ah, <sighs> Henry. You make some coffee and go to work. This game pulls at your heartstrings, for sure. It's a good game, though. Uh, Julia's still like- this is just the beginning. This is just setting up everything of how we get to- When we go into the, like, first person um, perspective, when we're actually playing a game, this is all the prequel to that, just as a heads up. Uh, this is not the whole game. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I love games with great ambiance. Ambiance? Ambiance. I'm getting it so lost in this game though. I even know where I'm supposed to go and I'm gonna get lost. I just know it's bound to happen. Oh, the sun rays through the trees. People who made this game, round of applause from me. Two Forks Fire Lookout, eight miles still. Hop over. Whee! Oh, so pretty! 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. <sighs> bucket gets kicked. B -b -b -buck -d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. Rightfully so, this is a very stressful situation. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. I, I kind of want to beat his goddamn face in, just to be honest. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Oh. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Understandably, you say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. I've been that distance away from my significant other. It sucks. Uh, it's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh God, I would just move with her. If I, if I was Henry really in this situation, I would just move with her because even if you don't want to move there, just go while she's doing the job and then move to wherever else you want to go. It'll be an experience, you know? Like. Uh, it just, long distance is hard. I want her to take the job, obviously, so I guess agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass up, pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after an episode. She lost at a colleague for borrowing some books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, God. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to, should talk to someone about it. Make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. You should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, you were worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. God. You both decided to keep it a secret for now. <sighs> Journal. God, it's so pretty outside. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot! I'm gonna have to play that out! Oh no.
Bucket is getting older, Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he's getting in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class, her research is in shambles, she drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. <sighs> She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh my god. Oh no, where is it? Where is my- my- no, no, this one. Oh. I'm still learning my PMG tuber, uh, key finds. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. She suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. There's nothing wrong with putting your family into full care in a, in a full-time care facility. Genuinely, that is actually the best thing for them in a lot of cases. But I know I would probably be determined to take care of her by myself if this was actually me. I would probably try my best to take care of her. And if it got worse, then, then, get help full time. <sighs> this path is so, this game is so beautiful. Max, m uh, matched with the somberness of the tone in a lot of the parts. It has funny parts, it has great parts, but the somberness that it has between them is just... Oh dear. Hello. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her when she tries to cook her own food. She can't do anything, you can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Ooh. You start going out after you put her to bed. That's not a good idea. Oh, but I get it, you're only human. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Put a chair in front of the bedroom door. No, she's gonna pan- if she wakes up and- she doesn't remember where she is, she's gonna panic even more. I would just trust that she seems like a rock if I'm gonna leave the house, and I would just try to make it as quickly as possible. You're to the same bar at the, at the boring end of Pearl, St Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. <sighs> One night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one zero. I don't know if that's how you say that. I don't know. I don't drink. <laughs> You're taken off to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. God, I forgot how recent this all happened for him. Okay, you take it. We do. Oh my god. There it is. Oh, did you see that little, that little glitch right there? I've never noticed that before. Enter the lookout tower. Oh, no, it's not a glitch. Oh, it's the, it's the thing. It's blinking red. Oh, I thought the door was glowing red for a second. I was like, oh, no. No. How dare I assume it's a glitch. 
the outhouse. Forest Burns is near there as well, a little cutout of the mascot of the park, telling, you know, fire safety and whatnot. Gosh. The mix of the 2D background with the 3D foreground is just so beautiful. All boarded up. Yeah, it's this, blinking. Generator switch. Here we are. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Delilah! Oh my gosh. Hold left shift to activate radio. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Um, oh, hello? okay, cool. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I mean, subtitles. There we go. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. Not so, wrong. what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Whoa. Okay, now go Whoa. ahead. Um, uh, your bunny's mom. You've killed three ex husbands. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll <gasps> kill again. Oh, very good. Bravo. There's the lookout. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know anything about you. I love Delilah. But nine times out of ten, <laughs> folks out here simply got dumped. Hey there, oh, Delilah. It? What's it like? Close. Good night. Four, four tower? <laughs> good Wait, night. Is that her tower name? Welcome to the job. Firewatch! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Day one. Been well, riding. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see <gasps> you at your desk, so call Raccoon. me when you're ready. Raccoon. Paradise. Lost in paradise. Um, sorry, I guess I slept hey. in. Sorry, I guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Jeez. Oof. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. God, this game is so gorgeous. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot, <laughs> you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yup. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down Oof. there and set them straight. Yes, ma'am, Delilah. Um, like write him a ticket? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. <laughs> well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if Wait, I remember right. Wait, in my... Oh, okay, cool. There I should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's wow. actually that for all of them. Very safe codes. Secure. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so... Oh, this feels so cool playing this game, finally. Oh my god. I don't know if it's on sale still, but it was on sale recently. Hence why I was able to get it. Um, it was only like $4. It was like 75% off. So, okay. I'm supposed to be heading... Oh, how do I get my compass out? Oh god, I didn't pay attention. Um, E, Q, M. Okay, M gets my map west. Okay, so I'm supposed to be heading west. Lower map. So I'm supposed to be heading this way. 
How do I... Is there a way for me to sprint? I don't think so. I mean, I think we're supposed to be, you know, Jonesy Lake. There we go. I think we're supposed to be, you know, we're hiking. We're taking our time through here. It's beautiful. Why would we want to run? Also, if we ran all the time, we'd be constantly out of breath. So I don't think there's a way to sprint, but... I don't know. There could be. I could just be being a goof. I've watched so many people play this game, and yet... Since I've never played it myself, there's just so much different when you play it yourself, you know? I have many favorite games that I've never played before, and so I want to change that. Hence me playing this game. I'm going to start playing some games that are some of my favorites that I've just never been able to pick up and play myself yet. Um, oh! Is that the... The box cash? The cash box? The cachet supply? Uh, one, oh, one, two, three, four. Copy information. Lovely. Uh, Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Oh, hell yeah. Old rope. Lovely. Okay. Granola bar. We'll leave it for Dave. Isn't that who's supposed to have it? No. Ron. Drop. It's one of the bars he likes. Okay. I love the little Ron and Dave subplot going on during this game. You're just, like, learning random things about these strangers in the park. Uh, can I go up here? Blocked trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm <laughs> screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Oh, so I need something to clear the path? How come I did not know I needed to do this? Oh my god, it's so pretty. Is there something in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Uh, zoom in. Okay, so we are here. It's a cache. We're supposed to go up to... Oh no, we're supposed to go over to Jonesy Lake. So we're not supposed to go up yet. Okay, I see. We were going the wrong way. So this way, I think. I believe this is the right way. As I said earlier, I'm probably going to get lost. Occasionally. R to, t R to jog. There is a way to jog. I was like, I feel like I should be able to move a little quicker than this. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Goodness gracious. Oh, I think I hear fireworks. What rabscallions are lighting fireworks on my turf? Is it this way? Or am I going the wrong way? I think it's this way. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm going the right way. Okay, cool. That was something I was worried about. I was like, how embarrassing to have watched a game, like, literally so many times, but not know where I'm going. <laughs> so I was like, I hope that I... I don't get too lost too often. No. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Ooh, Henry, you're back. God. That rope was pretty old, to be fair. Maybe you need some new, some new ropes. Uh. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay, where am I going? I think I'm supposed to go down. 
because I saw it coming from this direction. Do I have uh, another rope? No, I don't. So no, I'm not supposed to go that direction. I guess I'll head this way. Or this way? West. West would be the other way. Wouldn't it be? God, I'm gonna get so lost in this game. I swear I'm not this horrible with directions in real life. I guess there isn't another way to go. So I guess we'll just go this way. Report Meadow. Not sure where to look. Uh, hell of a nice camping spot. It is a spot. hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh. I see things. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Wow. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Stomp out the campfire. They're not using it. Prevent another wildfire. Oh my god. Confiscate. God, they're littering. Clean up. Clean up these beer cans. I'll leave them their whiskey. Two backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, I see clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okay. I know that the... Uh, there are... Uh, the song that we're about to go Anthony's. into... There are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why? Because you're 12? Yes, I am. Uh, I know that the, the song that they're playing by the lake is copyright is copyrighted so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run and we're gonna try to talk over it the entire time so that we don't get copyrighted and we're gonna turn it off as quickly as possible and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna oh, hey. Uh, hey whoa put that down uh, 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 okay sorry I have to it's the copyright I'm sorry I can't get copyrighted yeah pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. You can't just play copyrighted music, okay? Don't you know I'm recording? God. I'm sorry. I really am. I, I really didn't want to do that, but... Hey, that go okay? Uh... It's, it's done. It's done. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Uh, can I talk to her more and explain what I did? What's over here? Oh, is this Thunder Canyon? That I saw on my map? I don't know if I'm supposed to go back to my lookout or not. But I'm just gonna explore. Why not? Beautiful scenery. <laughs> I took a trip to Arizona um, a couple months after I first watched this gameplay with my family. Uh, it was my first ever time out in the wilderness like this uh, and like hiking and stuff. I went to Sedona with my family and it was absolutely gorgeous um i never thought i would like it uh never thought i would like touching grass uh 
hiking these kind of so canyons and stuff. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I woke up needed a job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's not a big it's deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. It's okay, Delilah. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. I don't know if this actually leads to our lookout, but it's very pretty, so... I want to explore more. Ooh, narrow path. Oh no. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Be God, right, because get of the back. lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Uh. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going <laughs> to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound oh, of that. Oh, no. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh, my God. After all that? Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> a horn? Okay, so now we have a flashlight. I have to toggle flashlight. Oh. What's this in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. The but in the cave? Shift. I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Hell yeah, I am! I'm a grown man. used to go caving with back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. I am. <laughs> it doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service Gosh, office what first. what lies behind there? Makes we'll sense. find out later. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, Spooky. so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. God, I yeah, love rock climbing like this. you can find another one to get your cave in. Cave, cl cave climbing oh, is so, so fun. This one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Okay, we gotta get home. Storm's a brewin'. I know you already got Surf Lightning once, but let's not do it again, okay? <gasps> uh there's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. I'm not going to say anything it? about that. Cuz I know it's things outside. Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Ha ha ha. into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Mm-hmm. Unless it's who it is. It is quite creepy, you gotta admit, Delilah. When it's storming like this. Regardless of who it is. I hope this actually leads the right way. Climb, quickly! Quickly, Henry! Climb! Whee! <sighs> Whee! <laughs> the adrenaline rush that climbing can give you. Even if you're not gonna fall. You're gonna- Oh my god, you're gonna fall. Oh my god, you're gonna fall. Oh my god, you're gonna fall. <laughs> uh, why would you do that to yourself, Henry? You knew exactly what was coming. <gasps> Forest Burns, is that you, buddy? Ugh. Hello. Okay. Let's put you out there. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Listen, Henry, I get it. As an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. 
Ouija inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s it's keeping the wilderness far. safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, that thanks, is true. Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? <laughs> well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. You'd be surprised. Apple's a name now. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? <laughs> oh, God. Man, that's, that's even worse. so bad. That's really bad. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Oh, I forgot about this. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You write? Yeah. And make it ready uh, to be no someone wind? up. No, how the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Gosh. This is so, ugh. I hate how ominous it feels. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I mean, I have a sneaking suspicion. God, can it, girls at the lake has way I more did motive. Did this off the girls at the lake? Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now Ooh, I've got to worry cool. about some what violent true, campers. Okay. Uh, okay, oh. in the morning I'm gonna call Tell my friend that. Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <sighs> just over to find a gun. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I'm a big Gotta strong man. Forward. Okay, tough guy. That's right. Big gun boy over here. Got my big guns. And I don't mean an AK. I mean the ones on my arms. Am I right, boys? Wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. Got my fingers crossed. Hey, wake up. Dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit. But what are you gonna do? Whoa, okay, I wanna read that. Yo. I didn't know we were journaling this entire time. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. Oh, that storm up. knocked nice. out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I shouldn't put those right next to the furnace. I don't really know why them. that would be the case. Uh, I mean, can I go fix it? We've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Oh, okay, I can do that. I... Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Oh. Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Here, wait. No, it doesn't. Really okay. quickly. All right. Okay. Uh, May 2nd. Sleep is going to be a real problem. Without making this a list of all what's happened all the time, of what's happening all the time, uh, for Henry from the future, this was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone going to have to figure out gonna have to figure that out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and everything but sure enough during 30 minutes I fell asleep Oh, around 5am 
In 30 minutes, I fell asleep around 5 a.m. There were back, we were back on the beach in Melbourne. Aww. There's that moment where I know it's coming, where I know the water is gonna come up and up and up, and I think I'm gonna spew or my heart is gonna stop or something, but this time I woke up before anything happened. Maybe that's progress. Fingers crossed that I wouldn't be dreaming. I would be dreaming about squirrels and mountains. Okay, that's the context. Wow. So we have repetitive dreams about jewels. Noted. Wow, I've never seen anyone read that before in any of the playthroughs I've watched. I've never re realized that that had anything on it that was important at all. I mean, I guess it's debatable on its importance based on the type of player you are, but I am definitely the type of player in which I like to know everything. The best I can, at least. Uh, hop over. Oh, I can go under my tower. Wow. Nice support beams. It's great, though. That's all that's holding that up. Kind of scary. But, hey. I guess it works. Okay, so I know north was the last instruction I was given. But I don't remember where I was supposed to head to first. A survey communication lines north of the canyon. Okay, so I gotta head to the canyon then head north. That's what it was. Um, okay, so if I need to go to the canyon, Thunder Canyon, I need to head north to, like, New Point, I'm assuming? So, I can go to the cave. So I gotta head north. North. Okay. Well, actually, I can just go to the path that says Thunder Canyon, can't I? Is this Thunder Canyon? Jonesy Lake, which led to Thunder Canyon, didn't it? Uh, I don't think I can head that way. Like, I don't think I can head this way to the place I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it's all, it's all blocked off. They're like, come on, come on, player. You're not supposed to go that way. Okay, fine, I'll head the path. I'll head the path. Because I know how to get there from Jonesy Lake, but I thought there might be an easier way. I don't know. We might be able to go through that path that that was uh, blocked off last time. That might be our way. Hmm. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just mm. hike or take their horse Ooh, a different fuck. way. Anything new in the supply cache? Ooh, report that. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh... Okay. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. I know it's a very Aww, sore subject for us right now. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's yeah. great. Okay. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Keep moving your body, Henry. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Hmm. Okay, good. Uh, hey, your no, button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. I mean, I don't want to listen, but... Would you? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Can I go through the cave? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? I wasn't listening. I wasn't eavesdropping. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. You're right. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. I didn't mean to click that one, change. but hey, that wasn't yeah. a bad one. All right. I accidentally well, let go of shift early. Leave it at that. Thanks. Oh, I want to keep talking to her. I love Delilah. Do we have a rope? We do. Okay, cool. We got new rope. I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. Um, you shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able to do it without gear. 
Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower. I tried to head straight north. It didn't let me. Okay. I know I'm supposed to I know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm pretty far over. I guess I'll go back to the cache. The cache might have a path. Okay. Let's go. Let's go back to the cache. Yeah, I knew I was going to get lost occasionally out here because I, as much as I've watched a lot of people play this game, it's, it's different. It's different from navigating it by yourself. Oh, this view is beautiful. Can we talk about it? No? Okay. Uh, but I was hoping that my past experience viewing the game would help, but this is a big, it's a big area to explore to be fair. This way? Am I supposed to go this way? No, that key's even more the opposite way I'm supposed to go. Gosh. Okay. I don't have an axe or anything. I'm pretty sure this is the way I'm actually supposed to go. Yeah, it is. I might be able to head around it somehow. I don't know. Let's just open this. Maybe there's... No, there's nothing in here. Okay. How do I get through you? Because I know this is the right way. I guess I could go the opposite way, straight north. I guess that's the way that she wanted me to go. Rather, the game wants me to go. Okay. Fine, I guess I'll head straight north, but I'll go a different way than the way I was trying to go, because apparently the way I was trying to go that was north originally was not the right way. Okay. So. I need to go around and this way. I need to go, like, far this way. Then north to find the path. This way. Okay, this should lead to Thunder Canyon. Hopefully. Yeah, this should lead to Thunder Canyon. Yeah, okay, so it's the back end of where we came from. Gosh. I'm so bad with directions. I do apologize, guys. You know what? I don't apologize. I'm gonna be bad with directions as much as I want to be bad with directions. Punks. Okay. Yeah, this makes sense. I was heading a little too, like, straight north. I wasn't trying to go on the path, and I should have just gone on the path. Okay. Whee! She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Jump over the little bridge. Whee! Sunrise is gorgeous. The horizon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the way we came up last time. So I should have remembered this, but hey. You know what? It is fine. Do we need to go into the cave? I think so. Yay! Finally in Thunder Canyon. All oh, these <gasps> pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Now we're in Thunder Canyon. North of the canyon. So we're gonna head north this way. I believe. Clear the gap in the brush. Beautiful. I watched a little bit of uh, 
one of the creators of this game talking about the creative process of making it uh, with the crew that they had and everything. And gosh, it's so interesting uh, watching the process because um, a lot of the time games are broken up into levels or chapters where like this is bro it's broken up into days but there's so much that happens in the days and the days are so far apart later on um, that they were talking about oh yeah there's the rope uh, I can see the wire you're the talking rope, about the wire, it looks I mean. like it's in good shape from here <laughs> we'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can you Will can do. head back as soon as you give me the all clear got it okay We're going all around. Just gonna keep following it. Until it doesn't let me anymore. This really reminds me of being in Arizona. I loved Arizona so much, genuinely. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go up there. I know, I think I'm supposed to go over there. Yeah, the wire's down over there. I thought that hill was where I was supposed to go. Because I knew I was supposed to go on top of the hill. Which, it's that hill. Just wrong hill. Correct idea, but wrong hill. Oh, there's a cash box over there. The footsteps? Is that wind? I'm spooked. Consider me thoroughly spooked. Can we go over this? I... Oh, I'm supposed to be down there. Wait, am I supposed to be down there? Yes, I am. Yeah, I saw a lot of sceneries like this as well as different from this. Oh no. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity, stupidity of, of a drunk, drunk teenager. teenager. Also, I uh. never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Um, yeah, no, we know already. Okay, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said it's you found their verse. trash. Oh, these oh. idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? Go and off, God Delilah. Forbid, there's an actual fire burning out of control. What Period. do you want to do? I want you to go find them. <gasps> and then what? I I haven't thought that far ahead. That's, That's not, not true. true. Everything <laughs> to mind is illegal. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. They did. I don't Indeed. know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your, your breath. breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Okay. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I'll follow the beer cans, Delilah. There's another beer can. Got to be another one somewhere. Okay, where are we on the map? Cut comm wire. Yeah, okay. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, where's the cash box we saw earlier? Because we might want to look in that real quick. See if there's anything of importance in there. Oh, we can't go back. Because didn't we drop down that? I think so. Okay, so we just got to figure out where they're going. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, oh, that that's where I came back? I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. I don't think that's where we well, came Hopefully from. that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Yeah. No, you're right, Delilah. For sure. Well, I guess that is where I came from. Okay. So, we gotta figure out a way down to Jonesy Lake. Because that's where we saw them last time. Okay. No problem. Just gotta figure out our way back around. Uh. Delilah, I'm lost. Help. Hey there, Delilah. I'm lost. I don't know my way back. I need help. I am very bad at following instructions. Yeah, I am. Is it down here? Oh, it's the blocked trail. It's another blocked trail. I still can't clear it. I feel like I'm supposed to have something already that I can clear it with. Hmm. Okay, we are facing south. Facing down. We are trying to get back to the trail. So we need to go east. That's where we came from. Okay, we can't go back there. So let's go to the cache. There's a cache right there. But how do we get there? We need to head west. Okay. I think that's through the brush, the brush though. Okay. Gonna go through here. And it's a dead end again. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's gotta be a way that I'm missing. They would not lead me to a dead end. Also, I... I have never seen someone get so stuck in this area. Every, every playthrough I've watched. So, I'm being a dummy right now. There- I was on the opposite side of the fucking hill. That's all it fucking was. Oh my god. Okay. Now I know where I'm going. Huh. Lost Zoomy. <laughs> what would we do without her? Whee! Okay. The good thing is I'm never lost for too long. I always find my way eventually. It's like real life. I always find my way eventually. I've gotten a lot better with directions than I used to be. Which, if you can believe that, I know I used to be worse. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've gotten a lot better with with directions. Uh, but for some reason... Ooh. This is pretty. That's where the... Okay, that's where the lock trail is. So we'll be able to travel through here eventually make it easier. I don't know why it's blocked, but apparently it is. Getting over the cusp of a hill and seeing the view. Oh, so pretty. My background on my computer was Firewatch for a long time. That's how much of a favorite it was. Okay, I say we go back to Jonesy Lake, um, but I'm curious. Over here. There's the supply cache where we get like our bulk supplies. And then 
There's also Therafair Tower, which is Delilah's Tower. And I think I know what happens if you go over here early. But I want to talk. I want to see. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No Delilah, well, let me hike over. Let me over. It's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help, it's Help. an emergency. Oh, God, it's an emergency. Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> a tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Oh, no. Yes. Holy moly, <laughs> I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need <laughs> him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Oh. Sorry, Hank. No dice. no dice. Okay. Man. Man. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought it'd be worth a try. I, I don't think there's any way to get to Delilah early at all, but, like, I wanted to see if there was any chance. As I said, I watched a lot of playthroughs, so I've seen people try a lot of different types of playthroughs and stuff. And I don't think there's a way to see Delilah early, but... If we see her at all. Which I know, but I don't want to spoil for any of you guys. Okay, join the lake. Travel around. Do buddy. Oh! There's an abandoned pack oh, out here. I just remember. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Yeah. Well, <laughs> little cat. You should always go yeah. for it for supplies. Ryan Goodwin. Oh, we got the camera now. Cool. New well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them in <laughs> decent condition feet. too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian, Brian Goodwin. Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Wait, how do I get down? Ranger? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Oh, Great a kid. piece of smoke. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Wait, how do I keep going down? Oh. <laughs> I'm blind. That's what it is. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it goes. Yeah. Have, uh, fun Whoa. with that camera. <laughs> Try not to snap anything that would around scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get no bored. No promises. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh... What the fuck? What was that? Is my game glitching? take the hint that it doesn't want me to open that and I'm just gonna go towards the plume of smoke. <laughs> I see a really thin plume of smoke. I think I might have broken it on that last deal. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I think so. <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. I don't know if these lead different places. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. That's a pretty field. It's where another wildfire started. It's like new vegetation growing and everything. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. 
I Charge. really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? Oh, it's beautiful! Uh, it doesn't tell me where to go towards Jonesy Lake, but hey, it's okay. I think we just head this way. Look, just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. You can play Henry so, two very different ways her, in this game. It's crazy. Want. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, That's fair. sure. That's fair. Sometimes you need an escape to reassess what's going on in your life, you know? Sometimes you need, you need to be able to step back so that you can look at the full picture and reflect on everything. That's not always a bad thing. As long as you do it with, you know, forethought and... Wow. It's beautiful. Oh, the music. Spooky. I love the soundtrack for this game. I actually used to play it in the back of my streams sometimes. It's just so chill. That was back in my Twitch days. Those were a long time ago. Those were a long time ago. I think I was 16, 17 when I did that. I'm 20 now, for reference. And I'm a YouTube girly, purely now. I did both back then, but now I just do YouTube. I did like Twitch, though. I just found that my audience was mainly on YouTube. Also, I like making videos a lot more than streaming. I like streaming, do not get me wrong. It's the reason why I do it so often, but videos just will forever have a safe, a safe and soft place in my heart. Is that the phrase? Soft place in my heart? Soft spot in my heart? I'll always have a soft spot for it. Jonesy Lake. And we're back here. Thin column of smoke. We'll just keep heading straight for it and see. See if it's what we think it is. I have a feeling it might be. Whoa, those roots. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped Ooh. to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? <laughs> Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't <laughs> have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just Gross. disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Oh. Okay. Christ, lady. Christ, indeed. Whoa, this is a long one. I like Delilah, but like, damn, that's that's grim. Okay, where's the plume of smoke? There it is. Okay, cool. Want to make sure we didn't lose it. Think we need to go down further? Yeah, probably. Actually, no, we don't. Wait, I'll come back to that later. I thought we were supposed to, but I remember now. That way is Jonesy Lake. I don't know what the other way leads to yet. Stay on task, Izumi. Stay on task. We may be lost, Izumi, but let's not be ADHD Izumi for, <laughs> for all we can help. This is their old camp. Maybe what does I... she have? 
Oh, Alzheimer's. She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is I she? I think we need to go the other She's way. She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. we're going the wrong way She's now. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Scary. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She Aww. was very quiet. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is it? There it is. I need to remember my commands. That's so sad. God, that is genuinely one of my worst fears. Um, I, I'm really scared of forgetting things and not knowing who I am. And it's just such a real and raw part of life that so many people experience or have loved ones that go through the experience that it's really, oh, it's real. It's very real. And that can be incredibly scary. Okay, where's these, this uh, plume of smoke? Where'd it go? Where am I? Oh, that way. Okay, cool. I'm heading the right way. Oh, a cache. Let's see if it'll let me open this one. Okay, cool. It was just that one was glitched for a second. Coolio, Julio. Okay. Copy information. Missing person. Mitch Michaels, 31, 6'2". Oh, he wasn't a small guy either. He was, you know, big man. A Ford F-250. Hmm. Last seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd. Probably got eaten by a bear. Sad. Oh, I didn't mean to put that on the ground. I just... I... I... No, I... I... I, I uh, okay. Uh... Oh, cool. Okay. Uh... Ugh. Fine. Okay, it won't go in. Doesn't look like anything important. Oh. Well. Sorry about that. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked it up if I wouldn't have known I wouldn't have been able to place it back correctly. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Oh, I love Aspen yeah, trees. Yeah, I think that's where I am. It's Those probably some of my favorite types of trees. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, really cool. uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, yeah, here we go. Follow the stream. Delilah looks like you need help. You're taking forever. Some pretty guitar. Oh. I see some clothing. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> Fair assumption to make. Okay. Okay, I need to go up, not down. Oh yeah, through those. I see where I'm supposed to go now. Okay. I've never done a long play before, like a full playthrough of a game in one sitting, which is what we're aiming to do here. 
I might have to like stop the recording and then continue it later if I need to take breaks at all, but the goal is to do it in one take. It's been nice so far. I really like this. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. You found them? Yeah, the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? No idea. I have no idea. It's pretty bad. Well, just Ooh, look fuck, around. Yeah. Make sure they weren't, you know, injured or... Uh, murdered? <sighs> they weren't murdered. Oh, do you remember when I came out here to quietly look for fires? They weren't. Just look around. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, I will. Uh, dear Psycho, hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a, f a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, report note. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. Well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Yeah, okay, it's, it's the copyright. I'm sorry. I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but That's they're fair. gone. There's no way to call <sighs> the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, damn. I thought we could do more stuff. Day three. Finally patching up this window, huh? Uh, okay, we need to get some more boards. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh... Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god. God, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, yep. then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I try to look nice usually. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I... Yeah, for Christmas. Actually. Oh. Just, um, it's navy with. He's like a buttons, himbo. I, I like it. I don't wear it that much. I but. love him. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about Aww. your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. So we're a wedding ring. Oh, I see. Uh. Hi. It's me. Uh. Mine has been broken. Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? Huh. I wish. Mm. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Oh, <sighs> ouch. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Oh. You're what? Is, Julia is used to okay? draw us. Uh, 
Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Hmm. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, yep. what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two what days straight. What was that noise? What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Oh, didn't mean to. I want to read this real quick. Uh, okay. May 3rd, 1989. Think today is going to be normal. Although Delilah is having a hell of a time getting the communication wire fixed. Those girls did a real bang-up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules's dad. Realized I hadn't really talked to him over the past few years as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. Madeline, is that? I think that's Jules's sister. I guess that's the sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out and I appreciated it, but because he's got that ain't no worries bloke attitude and it doesn't feel right. Uh, oh, yeah. I bet Madeline, Madeline's uh, been hard on him, goddamn. Here's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both, but that didn't stop her from laying into me when you're acting like your father. Oh, oh, oh. And I realize now that I love the parts of her that she got from Mick and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living hell, the living shit of me. So Madeline's her mom. Um, I thought it was her sister. Uh, except for the whole looks department. No denying she lucked out there. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, wow. I never realized. Never realized. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and report to Delilah, because I don't think there's really much else to look around at. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping <laughs> this national forest safe from total destruction. Aye, aye. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. It's wooden. You know, it's not really that comfy. <laughs> It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I yeah. actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Huh. What's that? Aww. Well, regardless, Escape take a seat. From two the forest depends on you. Huh? Whoa. Day nine. Was that something from the last lookout or was that us? I think that was the last lookout. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Whoa. Uh, yeah, Not great. too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and oh, Lily no. McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Damn. Happy to be questioned. Well, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? It's worth mentioning. I, Could be a lead I think it's worth mentioning them. something. Yeah. I'll, Let them know uh, where they were and stuff. I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. That's fair. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Will do. Day 15. Damn. I wish there would have been more days between Henry. these. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh. Sorry Get out of that. bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? 
you big dumb idiots. Jules. You're, the big You're dumb a big idiot. dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? It's good yeah, out here. it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. Jules. That's I was great. so confused Henry, the first time I watched this really great. happen. Well, I'll figure out why I'll this let you get back to later. sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. 33. Damn. Yeah, so. Make of that what you may. We'll figure out why it happened later. Don't worry, there will be answers to what the fuck that was. And why the fuck Is it happened. too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably <laughs> unfair? Anyway, oh, when you find the supply drop, us. remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Aye, aye, Captain be Delilah. Loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, Beans. jerky. Mm. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great cool. at this job if she sure didn't need right barrels full of marijuana to function. Damn. Ooh, a cash. So, like, oh, it's the broken two weeks cash. Ago, you <laughs> called me in the middle of the night. Oh, you were sleeping, dang it! I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. Hmm. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and yeah. I just so that was a dream it. for context. I hope That's you're what doing she just okay. explained. The you Jules know, call was a dream. Shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. It's fair. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, Javier. He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. I'm gonna put this fence, but... He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five I don't years. Want to cut her off. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. I think I'm just supposed to go And I was way. sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And Damn. For some reason. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. Mm. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Oof. I've just Damn, lied about it rough. for over ten years. And uh oh. for some reason I Glad it was the first of hell. wanted you to know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, at least you didn't kill three ex-husbands like I predicted. <laughs> I wish that was the thing I could say. I wish I could talk to her. That feels like such a large amount of burden to just let go of suddenly and then no reply, you know? But that happens sometimes. Sometimes you don't know what to say to that kind of stuff. That's okay. Okay. Moss Peak, which is like Dan and Ron, maybe? Spruce. I think it's Dan and Ron, or vice versa. Oh, we're two forks. Oh. Did I. Did I just envelop it? Did I just glitch it? I really hope I didn't glitch it. Alright, I got everything oh, no. okay. I need out of here. Time to chow down. <laughs> Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? There's some people that they steal every single one of those boxes during their playthroughs. You've 
got a front row seat for what Damn. might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, Sheesh. really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, the clouds. That's really and cool. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Everyone always picks Delilah, so I'm going to call it the Flapjack uh, Fire. Maybe we call it the Flapjack <laughs> Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Yeah. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire. Yeah! Probably asked me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> They always name so it after Delilah, and so it ends up being the and, um, June fire that happened you know, in July. My thing to do is... oh, what's up? What's that? I love to take a bottle of Delilah's whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Mm. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. <gasps> okay, no. Um, I'm sure just I'm sure. No Sounds flirting with her. Good. You're a married man. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh no, I'm not. Here, I'll go you should. Aside. Let me know when you are. Okay. I'm looking, at it. I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Delilah. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. That's fair. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. Is your lookout tower? I wish I was over there. Me too. I wish you were too. Yeah, being in person's always we could better. Sit outside, we could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. Delilah, are you drunk? Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Oh, there we go. I've never seen someone say dot dot dot. I've only ever seen someone say, "What could we do?" You're Flirting back with her. License? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got man. to We eat. can have a close, intimate no, friendship with a woman. That, that is not romantic. Me. I keep hearing Thank reports you very from much. Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you She's search around bestie. the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Bear problem? Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all <laughs> problems. Come Indeed. on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the Dylan O'Brien, like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Oh, God, do I have to? I guess so. What the, uh, what the D, I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, oh, God, on. I'm scared. Out here. I'm scared. Guys, I'm Henry. scared. I'm worried. Here, wait, can I take this? Can I take this? Keep. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, <laughs> devastating. Hello? Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. Uh... I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. 
it's going shit house. God, I'm scared, Get guys. If you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. <laughs> oh. Who the there? hell? Who the fuck? What happened, Henry? Uh, Holy hell, I just I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Gosh. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody Damn out it. here could have just killed me, Delilah. I was able to keep it. <sighs> I don't. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north Is this of the, the right lake. Way? It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. Oh, God, I was going the wrong way. Head. Are you? No, I need to go a specific way. Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... Yeah, it is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from okay. two weeks ago. I know they were. So is that the right way? What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Hello? Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever oh. or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Let's see what's in here. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? Although budgets being what they are, did they get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. Probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess... He must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and profession Professionales is Italian. What sweater? University of Eastern Colorado. Hmm. Copy information. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. How do we head to where we're trying to go? I don't think this is the right way. I think we were supposed to go up. Okay. I think that just takes us down to a nice little view. Not necessarily the right direction on the path. Look out below. Uh, Whee! Uh, nope. Glad we got new ropes. <laughs> don't want us don't fail on us again. Whoa. Wow. Talented. Okay, cool. We're on the right path. Let's go. Wapiti Meadow. Wapiti Station. There's a lot unsolved about Wapiti Station, actually. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? 
Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... Let me in! That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. <laughs> Just now. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned Ruby a line a few River. days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River, okay. So, let's go back where we came from, and then down. Keep heading south. And then, there we head back towards the lookout. And then, maybe there's a path down that way. I'm thinking so. I'm getting better at directions as time goes on. It's a good training. This is my training montage, guys. Okay, so let's just go back from where we came from. And then we should be able to get back to our lookout and then just keep going straight down. Yeah, the design of the map of this is just so beautiful. They did such a good job. I really do aim to make atmospheric games like this eventually. And I hope one day I can even scratch the surface of this level of, like, aesthetic, <laughs> I guess. It's the best way to put it. Okay. I think I go back through here, and then what is this trail? Two Forks Lookout. Oh, okay. That's to me. Do I head this way? Oh, yeah, this takes me through the cave. Cool. See, we're getting better. We're getting better at this. It is cool playing it for, th for the first time myself. Um, because for the most part, it's all, you know, things that I've seen before. Sure. But, like, realistically, a lot of it I don't remember. And so it's nice, like, experiencing it start to finish myself, you know? The good, the bad, the ugly. The glitching cash box. <laughs> I've never seen that in a playthrough, so I think I just did something <laughs> that messed with it. I think that backpack, the moment that my backpack glitched, it glitched out that cash box for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Hey. I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it would sound crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? Yeah, there's nothing I they can know. do tell about it at that point. being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Oh, this cave feels even creepier now. Uh. Okay. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's yeah. not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. Mm -hmm. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian just how scared he would have been. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's totally fair. Protect he had him, his dad to protect him. 
right? Matt, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You're right. God. <laughs> I know things. And I don't want to say anything, because obviously I don't want to spoil anyone that's watching this for the first time, but like... Things come full circle in ways you don't expect. Okay, we're back at the lookout. So now we just have to head south. Flapjack fire. Oh yeah, I guess it is over there. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. So I guess we just head that way. Ruby. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> A little burp escaped my esophagus. Ruby River is where we're heading to, right? Yeah. So we'll just keep heading this way. Oh, I think we're about to go over the where the medicine wheel is. Is that right? Oh no, the medicine wheel's that way. Never mind. But we are heading the right way. I just remembered where the medicine wheel was incorrectly. I love going across lakes on like rocks and stuff. I mean, not lakes, uh, rivers and streams. It's so fun. Touch grass. You gotta be careful though, because sometimes they're very slippery. Copy information. Okay. I really wish the powers uh, that could be issue powers. Wait, what? Ron. Really wish the powers that could be issue us radios that don't suck ass. Um, most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the, s at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through this bottle of fires instead, miss you. Aw. Do you think they're dating? Toilet paper. Wow. Toilet paper. Jane Eyre. The Charlotte. Bronte? Is that how you pronounce that name? Terminal four, Terminal 7 by Richard Sturgeon. Lending library. Oh, cool. Well, sorry I made a mess. I wish I could put it back. I don't have that amount of precision, though. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. That's well, fair. I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's yeah. see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Oh, other way. So I just gotta head that way. I believe. Oh! Huh. Yeah, cool. Snowmobile? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh, this is water. 
It's gross looking water. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> oh. There's a camp. Interesting. Camp Arapaho. You there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. That's fair. We are in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Up here, maybe? Possibly? Hell yeah. Whee! Ooh, that was very high. Ugh. Also, that was like so on the edge. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Oh, totem pole. Very cool. The old campsite. There's something about an abandoned campsite that's just so inherently creepy. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. <laughs> old cash box. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless, Unless it's, it's Brad Goodwin. Goodwin. <laughs> well, if forced, oh. I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever. <gasps> An axe! Yes! yes. Barely tie his shoes, let alone a Finally! Pitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblo do it. Oh, oh no, that's the poop shovel. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Oh. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh. I mean, us? you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I maybe. do. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Mm. Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Aye, aye. Okay. Oh, right. I gotta go. Wait, how can I... How can I get back? I jumped off a high thing. Didn't think this through. <sighs> hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, no. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. <laughs> Good luck. How do I... Okay, let's look at the map. Mm, oh, there's a path north through the camp. I guess we can go that way. I thought we were supposed to leave the camp, but hey. 
Maybe we can another way. Oh, the campfire's fresh. Oh, hello? Excuse me. No, it won't let me. It's being finicky, isn't it? Okay. Okay. What way... Okay, we need to go basically just straight north. So this way. Oh, because we have a thing now. I'm not used to that yet. I have an axe. Lovely. Very nice flair, Henry. Gotta say. Oh, hell yeah. Chop it down. Getting real good use out of his axe. Timber! <laughs> oh, how fun. Riveting content. How fun. I think there was a more clear path. Wait, is this? This kind of feels like a path. Yeah, I feel like this way. Are you Gosh. there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where mm -hmm. are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Oh! Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Uh, um, there well, isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, guys, it's getting good. Ugh. I'm curious what my playthrough time is going to be. Obviously, you guys know because you know how long the video is, but I don't know yet. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks. It normally you takes for about the... four hours for oh, people to get through this game. Five if they today. do everything, like including side things. So The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun. How are you so chipper? Down. Well, it's a new day. What a day! About to drink it, guys. <laughs> Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't joke. stay up Don't all night that, knowing kids. that someone is. I actually slept just on. great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe How I dense you go gotta be, hike. Henry. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Will do. So, Cottonwood. Got it, Delilah. D. Lila. Lila. Lil Lila. P. Diddy. Okay. Cottonwood. Cotton. Cottonwood. Cottonwood Creek. 
Okay, so I need to head south, keep going, and then instead of going towards the scout camp, go the opposite way. Okay. Got it. I believe it's near our outhouse. Yeah, I think it's this way. But that's north. Opposite way. South. There we go. Yes, this is the right way. God, that would have been bad. Goes the exact opposite direction of where we're supposed to go. Whoopsie. I just remembered going to the outhouse before, but probably because we traveled more so uh okay, they both lead to the same path so it's whichever you want um just because we traveled more so north than we have south i guess gosh the the like the sound effects and like just the audio mixing in general of this game is just so nice. Birds. The, peaceful nix n the peacefulness mixed with the terror of someone possibly watching us from a distance. It's beautiful. Medicine wheel. I went the wrong way. Fuck. <laughs> Back we go. Back we go. Dang it. Ooh, pretty roots. Okay, where am I now? Okay, keep heading back. How the hell did I get here? How the hell did I head in such the wrong direction? This is going towards two forks, right? Okay, cool. So we gotta go back down. And we gotta head down, not up. Down. Okay. Does not lay the same place, Izumi. Listen, I can read a map. I'm not good at reading a map, okay? I should have remembered it was near the, the river that we had to cross the river. Then that would have been much easier to remember. But I didn't remember that because I wasn't thinking about it. I'm gonna be honest here. Flapjack fire. <coughs> the smoke. In our lungs. How delightful. How scrumptious. Okay, and then I think we had this way instead of the other way. This is heading west. Yes. That's the way we need to head. Got that much right, at least. Well, hopefully I did. We shall see, I guess. We never know. Ooh, cool tree! Wow, that's a cool frame. Hold on. Gotta take pictures of the beautiful sights, you see. Ooh. Now I'm scared of bears and humans. Come on. Okay. Oh, we're in the creek. Just where exactly do we need to go specifically in the creek? Because I'm here. I just follow the creek for a second, I guess. We go across it. Wow, this is beautiful. Wowza. I'm going too far. I'm here, Delilah. Oh, there's something over there. Some 
massive tree. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do. I've watched this game so many times, I don't remember what this section is. I know we're, like, I think we're picking up a new walkie-talkie. But I'm here. I'm in Cottonwood Creek. I guess we'll just keep exploring around. Can't talk to Delil Delilah yet. I told I want to tell her that I'm here, but okay, I have to go through here. I thought it would have been on like the big tree or something. Getting our little shoes wet. There we go. We're uh, the I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, Five, six, seven, it. eight. Creative. New radio. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. And hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Are you Whatever okay? these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. It makes any sense. Lookouts. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Ugh. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Ugh. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm Sexist done asking. Fuck. Um, I just changed clothes answers. laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed oh. back to the gate, and oh, now God, that I've got an so axe, fucked. we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay, so I think we're supposed to go to Wapiti. Wapiti Station. So let's head up past the big tree and there should be a path. So we gotta go back to where we were. I thought we were gonna have to retrace our steps, but I forgot that we jotted down new directions onto our map. Gosh, laying down on the floor to change your clothes because you're scared someone's looking in on you. And it's not like you can just, like, get blinds and have them down all the time. Your job is to fucking watch for fire. Whoa. Ah! Um, anyways. <laughs> okay. It's like, their job is to watch for fire, so it's not like they can just... You know... Okay, gotta go back up to the cash box and then head north. Okay. It's not like you can just pretend, you know, everything's fine. Go back to normal. God. Stalkers are fucking gross, man. This is a weird... <laughs> this is a very strange... Um topic to change to um but okay i read a lot of uh, spicy novels right um not a lot but I, I do partake i do partake in reading the occasional spicy novel and 
one trope, one dark romance trope I've never been able to get behind is stalker romance genre, I guess, more than trope. Hey, uh, I just thought of something Stalkers not, um, not great. What is that? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or Lila. saw those girls, the ones that Lila. went missing a few weeks back. Gotta go the other way. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. Check into the medicine well. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's Whoa. a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck. Fuck Delilah. Fuck indeed. Why, we why, really need to get to the why, bottom of this. Do -ba -do -ba -do -do. Delilah, why would you do that? Bestie, girly, I thought we had each other's backs. Communication is key. Okay, cool. We're going the right way. Gotta double check. Got trust issues towards myself reading this map. Okay. Okay. Let's. Swivity, swivity, shimity down this. I'm big feet. Oh my god, my backpack glitched again. My backpack just does not like those ropes. I'll tell you that much right here, right now. Okay, upper one. Gotta keep going up. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going north. Keep going north. Or north, uh, west, I guess, for now, and then north. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Stunning. Stunning and sunning. Gosh. Yeah, no, as I was saying earlier, I cannot... Stalker romances are the one... Actually, there are, there are others, but like, one of the most popular ones that I just don't get behind. Uh... I, I it's each their own. If you like it, cool. It's just something I've never understood. Never understood the appeal. But hey, ain't that life? Not understanding the appeal of things that others like. Ain't that life? Yeah, it felt like a weird, <laughs> felt like a weird comment to make, um, given the context of uh what was going on to be fair because it's a very serious thing going on right now uh with you know the fear of being Ooh, i don't like noises now the fear of being observed um by a stranger in your home when you are you know just living life and like trying to change or sleep or things like that where it's like you do not want someone looking at you while you're fucking doing that shit Ugh, gross 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 that makes my heart really sad specifically as like a woman too is like it's a lot like it's bad for anyone Obviously. But as a whammon, it's like, you don't know how strong they are, you know? I know a bee! Ah! No! I don't like bees. Mobilization personnel. Uh, if you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is the is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. 
Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Okay. Oh, not that way. Where do I go? This way? Yes. <sighs> the bridge broke. That's not good. The woods are fucking scary, man. The woods are beautiful. Nature is beautiful, but like the idea of the unknown that comes with. It comes with it. Now that. Shiny rocks. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? Hmm. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. Mm. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <sighs> I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. What's glowing? Of that. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. I knew that was there. None of my faces do. What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's this stuff in here about Julia. Wow. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell this you. Never this never gets is... really answered. What, is, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. Together, and it I looks guess. like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? Since you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? Oh. We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. That's insane. Lila. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? Yeah. We call it in? We call it in? Oof. Yeah. Maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay. This place just it feels like there's bad shit afoot, you know? It's sterile dead. B, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? 
I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Uh, what's the way out? I'm scared. I want to leave. Okay. Wait, I gotta go back to normal. Okay. I need a scared, scared expression. I'm realizing. Crawlies, the goosey bumps. Gross, 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 gross. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Whoa! That's fucking creepy Jesus. as fuck. Okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call it Just in. call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? I don't know. Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell That's out. Nice. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, goodness gracious. Who is listening to us? Okay. This receiver just picked something up. Huh. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? She drunk? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Hi, kids. You know what I just picked up? A cat just entered the room. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk. He knew it. Maybe a bad ID, idea. I don't want to harsh your vibe, but <laughs> maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? Maybe. You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is okay. I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Oh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. My radio's off. Follow wave receiver. Okay, that way. God, this is so ominous. Whee! Gosh. Are you sure we should be following this? Oh god. It's slowing down, so... Uh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I thought I was gonna be permanently glitched. What? Ah. Sam in strange box. Oh. Strange bag, I mean. It's the cave keys. God. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. Oh, and God. It's not you. It is not me. Oh, my God. Go. I'm going. I'm fucking going if you'll let me run. <sighs> this is a dead end. It's a loop de loop and turn. Loop de loop and spin. God, I don't know my way back. What an awful time to not know my way back to my fucking house. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was closer than I thought I was. There's no fucking way someone could have gotten out of there that quickly. I was literally here. I would have had to see someone run away. Or they're fucking in my house. Get your get out your axe, Henry. Get out your axe, Hank. Get out your fucking axe. Fucking kill someone. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. I mean, there must have been someone there yeah. to burn it. And it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and I that it was the your door, idea. Please. No. We are screwed. No! Tidy whities Don't Dee, freak just out. Don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. It's not gonna happen. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Oh gosh, this game just got fucking heavy. I don't know what the fuck's happening either, Delilah. I'm gonna be completely honest here. My kitten is walking through the room. I'm gonna be sick. What's wrong? What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what, what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. Yeah. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down She's there my now. Therapy cat. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just stick we together. Just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. July 17th, 1987. It's been a while since we read one of his journal entries, so I want to do that. I didn't read down more later. The sun's not up yet. I'm exhausted. At daylight, I'm going to head down to the cave in the canyon and see what I can find. I don't know what else to say, really. I know I should probably take extensive notes. Yesterday, I had the thought that maybe I'm not quite right in the head. 
It just came across me for a moment, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't think it for a second. Oh God, and after what happened with his wife? God, that would be such a true, real, honest fear. I'm going down into the cave and I just hope I can find something. I don't care what happens as long as I find something. I wonder what will happen if I don't make it back. I'm obviously a little worried about that, but I'm not, I'm trying, but I'm trying to act tough. And I'm not trying to act tough, sorry. And, but what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan, my sister out in Maryland, would eventually get a call and I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia, it's almost been six months and now, and maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I don't even register. It just feels a little, I just feel a little panic there. What if I do register and I just left her alone? Gosh. What's in here? Escape from two forks. This is what was on the ground. Two orcs. Hey, there's Escape a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east <laughs> is made of two acid. Orcs lair. Two orcs? That uh, looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. Wonder if his dad hated wow. this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. Oh man, that would be sad. So you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. Oh, same. So I am one. <laughs> Ooh, no, it's getting oh, the flapjack fire. Uh, it's getting so, so uh, not foggy, uh, ashy and. Smoky. Force burns. You were supposed to prevent this. God damn it. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the cave. So we have to head to Thunder Canyon, aka Jonesy Lake. North. Surprised I still have this guy, but hey. It's probably more accurate than a compass. Like an old time compass, you know? Kitten. My cat is meowing at the wall. <laughs> Not the time. There's serious topics being discussed by the video game characters being like two orcs. Exactly. You don't even know what that is, do you? It's too big brain for your little smooth brain. I'm kidding. You're very big brained bean. I have the biggest brained beans. <laughs> that sounds so weird. My cats are very smart. Better way of phrasing that. Gosh. Well, I mean, there's nothing really we can do at this point besides go look at the cave, but it feels just like so like, I don't know. It feels so hey, frustrating. You, you didn't actually make that call, right? No, Lila. It just stuck in Please. my car. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. No. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course not. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Yeah. Thanks, Henry. You have to be united front. Don't go in there, and yet I'm going in here! What the hell? <sighs> Someone shut the door. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Oh, fuck. Delilah! Send someone to the cave, please! Oh, God. I can't get any damn reception. Yes. Yes. God. Jesus, this is a big cave. That 
steep drop. Very scary. God. Told you guys we'd eventually figure out what was in here. It's freezing it in here. This soon, though, for some reason in my head. This game is relatively short, all things considered. I always felt like it was so long when I was younger, though. You could probably climb up there if you really tried. Oh. No. Is anybody down there? Oh, God. <sighs> Lord, oh, Lord. It feels heavy in here. I I wish I could go oh <laughs> I wish I could commentate more but I I know what's about to happen and I don't know really what to say before it There's more in there. I know there's more in there. I don't know if I missed it or if I was supposed to go a different way. But I I know there's more in there. Oh. Oh no. Did I glitch it? I guess I'll leave the cave. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to find it this time around. I'm hoping that it's not a glitch and that I'm just remembering it in the wrong order. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed okay, the gate cool. behind this me and then ran away. Cool. I wasn't meant to find I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Okay. Okay, so we need to go back to... to our... to our place. Okay. So we weren't meant to find anything just yet. Okay, so... What way... is... Oh! Forgot about this. The Goodwinds Family Crest. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. <laughs> he had a sports journal that he redid so that it was fantasy. It's very funny. Comic books. His grief is their sorrow. Um. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Wow. Dear Ranger, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me, Brian Goodwin? In the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Plate, Nebraska. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I kept these here. Well, these are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. Oh. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. 
Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Oh. Oh, I wish I could send them back. Wizards and Wyverns! <laughs> Appearance rugged. 5'8", 29 male. Half elf chaotic. Half elf chaotic good ranger. Level 4. Gladius Silva. Wow. Long sword. Reminds me of something. <laughs> wow. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Was there any, wait, was there any, uh... Yeah, here we go. Floor deeper into the cave. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It, Sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Oh, gross. There's some grade A dork contraband here. <laughs> you found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half-elf. Armor 7. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Can I go back in just now? Or no, I don't think I can. Damn it. Okay, guess I gotta go around. I feel like I should be able to go back in that way, though. I guess not. So, something I never told you, or anyone, about Brian. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Whoa, that took us far. Okay, I've got to get back to the trail and then I guess turn around? No, but what it's do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Guess I have a, uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're heading the right way. Cool. Yeah, I think this is the way we were supposed to go, because this felt very natural. Uh, up or down? Oh, uh, also... I don't think it matters. Those girls turned up. Oh, thank Looks like you Christ. didn't kill them. Nobody yep. did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton <laughs> and uh, landed in jail. Phew. Uh, dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Hey, baby. My cat is meowing. Okay. 
This is a heavy part, Bean. Your meows will have to wait. Go back in. See if it locks behind us again. Drive pit in. Okay. Uh, viewer discretion is advised, by the way, um, for this next part. Um, it can be a little heavy for some people, okay? I remember when I first watched this part, it was pretty bad for me, but I was pretty young, to be fair. Oh god. I am not ready for it. Deep breaths, Izumi, deep breaths. Feels different experience in the game, you know? Walking up to it, knowing what's gonna happen. Scary cave. No wonder it's locked up. Should be very dangerous to troopers, especially alone like Henry is. Whew. God. Oh shit. You Oh god. You're probably a good one. God. Oh god, I can't even look at it. Castle, collectibles, and comics. He didn't want to fucking climb anymore. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. God. <sighs> All the way up there? Jesus, because we saw a shoe up there. Out of this cave, Jesus. I'm glad I didn't miss it the first time. I mean, how can you miss that, right? That's why I was confused. God. So I was saying earlier about how the visuals for this game are so beautiful and lighthearted that matched with the somber tone of some of these topics, it really stings in a way you know it's it's art really at the end of the day it's art art that makes you feel <sighs> the first time I watched playthrough of this I had to stop at that part I started crying I was like 11 years old it was a little too much for me at the time then I came back to it a couple weeks later because I really wanted to know what happened. I want to know the rest of the story. And then I finished it and I've been obsessed with this game ever since, to be fair. We're not locked out anymore. We're locked in, rather. Gosh, breaking the news to Delilah is not going to be easy. The smell in that cave must have been awful, too. Hey, D. Even more there you morbid. are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I don't know, maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. Gosh. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Oh, God. Whew. Okay. Guys, that was heavy. We're getting close to the end of the game, though. Okay. Feels weird to have my smiley little self back on screen, but I don't think tears are needed anymore. But, I mean, hey. Wait, anyway. Go back on. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? What happened to Brian? About what happened to Brian? I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Can I keep this? Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I think I have everything. I'll remember you. Could this be a you, trap? Am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. <laughs> Please find who made that tape. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. She was on top of the the uh, windowsill. Sorry. <laughs> Messing with lines. Hi, baby. Say hi, like, hello to the video. You want to play Overwatch, maybe? <laughs> okay. I love you, baby. You can either lay here or you can go lay somewhere else, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic for a second there. Let go, Bean. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out my way. Everywhere kind of seems the same <laughs> when you're this far away, you know? So I have to kind of just like do a perimeter around my place. Okay. Oh wait, got a head on the path, sorry. Head straight off a cliff, imagine. <laughs> sorry, Delilah. Gonna process two deaths in one day. they can clear this. Very end of the game. So we'll just keep heading down. Because 
There's no way through that hill besides this. Up on down. This is definitely the part that I'm the worst at is following this tracker because I'm so scared of it being the wrong direction and traveling so far down and it not being the right way. This feels like I'm supposed to go down here. I don't even know realistically if I would even go follow the tracker anymore. Part of me would just want it to be over with, you know? Part of me would be curious, obviously, but like, there'd be another part of me that just didn't want anything to do with it anymore. go the wrong way. It's getting even slower. Seems like west is a good direction. God. This is so dangerous to do while like there's a fucking wildfire happening. Two, actually, that became a monstrous single one. Double fire. The flapjack merged with the uh, Wapiti Meadows one. I think I'm getting close. All right. Think? Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous oh, point. I remember. I remember. I tried to go over to you in the past. You wouldn't let me. Oh. Block trail again. They utilize the block trails really well to make it where you feel like you can go anywhere and it's like realistic why you can't go certain places yet. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. Yep. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Mm. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. 
About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his ankle the right way. God, don't fucking You know, I thought about it. going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Shut Don't fucking say anything about my wife. God. He trashed the camp. He stole their magazines. Father... Okay. We found the surveillance operation. Okay. What does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Your words, not mine. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Get back it here. all up. Damn. They say that's the how they just explain everything. Rounds. That's wild. To me. Okay. I feel like there's stuff that's unexplained, but I guess if he made it all up and he staged the entire thing, he made it seem like the research center was tracking us instead of just actually doing what they were doing out there. He had quite the view. Yeah, if it wasn't fucking burning. He's got a radio base station up here. So he listened to he us? He was listening to us on yeah. that. <laughs> this boombox looks familiar. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Reacher's site info. How to break in. Yeah, he broke into it. So return August 10th. Return borrowed equipment. Erase H&D evidence. Leave no trace. Well, he burned it down, I guess. He fucking made up all of the fucking paperwork? Seriously? Wow. See, I didn't know that. I, I've watched so many playthroughs of that, and it always felt like it was too much for one person to be able to do. He had a perfect fucking view of the lookout tower. He could see my lookout. Damn. But Delilah's just processing all this. Father's Day card. To a rad big mega dad. God, I feel so bad for Brian. God. It just pisses me off, genuinely. I guess if it pisses me off, I can do this. It really fuck. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Just really fucking pisses me off whenever I see. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Parents ruin their kids' lives or end their kids' lives because they think that they are There's owed a something. Line. God. What a fucking piece of shit. Like, okay, there's- I guess there's two ways to take this. He's telling the truth. He was genuinely trying to teach his kid. And an accident happened. A really fucking awful accident, but an accident all the same. And... The horrendous things that someone can do when in grief. Not giving, you know, the rest of Ryan's family. Or friends any sort of end, I guess, to the story. His kid just rotting down in a fucking cave.
And at that point, it's it does make you feel bad, obviously, for him. Okay, so evac point. We just need to keep going north. Uh, uh, if we go down... Is that going to lead to the right place? I don't think so. I think we need to go back up. But I guess it, it, you can either take it as he's telling the truth. And it's the tale of a heartbroken father losing a son, right? And doing anything to cover up the regret, the guilt, the pain that he has gone through. Or you can see it in the other way that is a fucking shitty dad putting too much fucking pressure on his kid, forcing his kid to do things he dislikes. And putting I know his I should kid be in danger. Relieved. relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't yeah. some conspiracy. Mm. But I'm not. Yeah. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. He wasn't, wasn't a good dad. dad. No fucking shit. But... But what? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You Don't didn't do anything wrong. It was Brian. It was Brian's yes, dad's fault. I did. Ned, it was not and your fault I've at all. Now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there. Yeah. So they can retrieve the body or not. And if That's I fair. do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D. Oh fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah. Hold on. I'm coming, Delilah. Please. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Go. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? yeah. I mean, it's I dangerous see you, here, but, and, and you know. if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so... I think she just wants to sure that's okay? I said it was. All right, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. I would just want her to All do... All right, have a safe hike. Oh. I just, I just want her to do whatever makes her feel better because she's the one that actually knew Brian, you know? At the end of the day, sure, uh, it's it can shake you up even if you didn't know him, right? But, like, she's going through a lot. If she wants to wait for me, awesome. I would love to see her. But I don't want her to feel like she has to just because I said she needs to, you know? Okay. I guess we're just going up to the lookout, you know? Let's hope that, <laughs> let's hope that the ravine, the, uh, the thing is actually able to be like, uh, used. Since she said it doesn't get used very often. That's what I would be thinking right now if I was Henry. I'd be like, shit, let's hope that the... She put the little cart that you have to, you know, pull across the canyon. Let's hope that she put it <laughs> across before she left. Abandoned. Alone. going the right way? Yeah, good. Seems pretty streamlined. Very fair. What's this? Well, that house. Huh. There used to be a lookout near here. Besides Therapore. Is this the way to Therapore? Oh, 
no, not the right way. I've never gone this way. Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's more to explore down there. I, I just want to get out because I... As much as I, I want to keep exploring. Um, I'm hoping that the drop-off point, wherever that may be, uh, after... Wait, how the hell? I just head straight this way. Or am I supposed to go down like I was? God, now is not the time to get lost. During everything that's going on right now. Okay. Direction am I going in? Northwest. North. Slightly northwest. Oh yeah, because there's the line that they cut. disappointing to some players which I totally understand um and it was a little disappointing to me but even though it was disappointing I was glad that it all came full circle at least everything connected it wasn't nothing was left unknown where I felt like the the camp was unknown Slightly. I knew he planted some stuff, but I didn't know it all was him making it seem like that. Amigos Professionales. Okay. I guess I don't need to note anything down anymore. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I need to go back down. So I need to go south. Back to the main deal. Okay. God. And then to go through this whole game, figure out all these things, be put through the ringer, man. And then to have to just walk without Delilah on the phone anymore. Well, on the on the phone, my Gen Z is showing on on the walkie-talkie anymore. Just really, it makes you reflect on how much you talk to her during the game. You know, gosh. We'll see if Delilah waited or if she went. I think I know the. right way? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Gosh. And how beautiful the game started. It really makes you realize how much damage fire can do to wildlife, you know? It's necessity. Natural wildfires are needed, you know? Um, they create room for new life and growth, but they also come with death and sacrifice from that. Thor for Thor Thor Fair? Finally Finally getting closer. Thor Okay. 
it's Thorfair. It's Thorfair, look out. I was supposed to head up. I remember this from when we saw it last time. There it is. Well, at least she left the thing for us, the cable car. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? No, she's not. Delilah? And I don't think there's any way to see Delilah at the end of the game. I'm pretty sure. No matter what you pick, she leaves. I would love for them to make a second game. Gosh. Will we meet Delilah, maybe? It's Delilah's lookout. She made it so much more homey than we did, but she, I guess, was here for six years, so. Makes sense. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, is that who that is? Oh, didn't actually that. No, go back in, go back in. Oh, it's us! <laughs> White wear shorts. I guess this is the 80s. That's a great price. Looks are like 15 bucks now. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Can you sure apples are yeah, yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Ooh. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. <laughs> hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented Damn. one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that <laughs> isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. I hear yeah, sirens. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what. Why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. No. Oh. Very cool. All right, sure. <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe. Move to Santa Fe. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a jade emporium with your sister. <laughs> hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Yeah. Plus the margarita situation. Mm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I what love about Delilah. Me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. Oh, hell yeah. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Henry, you I... You should. You definitely need to. Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Yep. I guess you're right. I mean... I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year, we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. 
Good luck, Henry. See you when I see you. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Bye, Hank. Bye, D. Oh. I'm gonna miss her. I think it really tells you a lot about the different ways that people play this game. Some people get really sad that they don't meet Delilah. And I get that. I totally get that. I was sad that we didn't get to meet Delilah, but I don't know. I guess I, I have so many online friends that I know I'm probably never going to be able to meet, but that doesn't diminish the importance of them in my life at all. And so I kind of just see it like that. It's like, even if I never see her in person, she still was a very important person. than I thought we would. Thank you so much to everyone behind this game for making one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I really do appreciate your effort and the work you put into this. Oh shit. I don't know if this is copyright free or not. Um, I know the one by the lake isn't. We'll see. I might have to clip this part out, I don't know. But I don't want to because obviously it's the credits and I want to show off the amazing people that worked in it. Oh, it's our, it's our, it's our photos. Some I took as, uh, like, evidence photos as well. Wow. Yeah, this is one of my favorite games ever. Um, the visuals, gorgeous. The... Everything gorgeous. I'll probably just mute the music uh, for this part just to be safe, by the way. Um, so, just to let you guys know. But yeah. God, it was so beautiful. Such a gorgeous game. And the story is so bittersweet. I really like how we ended it with Delilah. Um, some people's playthroughs, um, by the end, it's very rocky with Delilah um and I just picked what I thought was best genuinely um not what I think would result in the best thing but like what I would have said and I'm glad to see that that led to a good relationship with Delilah till the end there's Henry and there's Brian's photos Ned. <sighs> Poor Brian, really. Let me know what you guys think of Ned. Because there's definitely many ways. And like you see photos like this and you want to believe that he's a good guy that didn't mean for any of this to happen and just was, you know, distraught that his kid died. But there's definitely many ways to take the story, take the evidence, you know. There it is. There was Firewatch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, for fire watching. That was really nice, finally playing through that game. Um, if it's still on sale, uh, if you're watching this anytime soon to when it comes out, um, the, ga the game might still be on sale, so go check it out on Steam um, and play it yourself. Um, it really is a different situation than watching it, and I'm realizing that as I'm diving into this series that I'm going to be doing where I'm playing games that I love that I've watched for a long time but without further ado I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye